Hello, I am Mal. I'm back here with Sabout, and we are in the middle of an ugly war that we hopefully will win. What do you think our chances are, Sabout? I think they're pretty high as long as these guys come with us, although we might want to divert. We could just hang out at the edge of the system until they get in here. Because you see how our allies kind of ran off to go destroy those mm -hmm. troop transports? I just don't want us. We definitely all have to jump in together. I kind of had a feeling that they were going to do that. Oh, did you jump in? Yeah, I jumped okay. in. Yeah, I'm in. Okay, let's see if they're coming with us. Um, uh, our I'm allies are engaging a military transport ship up here. That's the issue I have. Well, it's really important that they kill that thing instead of coming down here, right? For whatever reason. I, that seems to be the case. I'm really hoping that they jump. I'm jumping to you too, but they're... Well, I'm, I'm cutting off their their transports which actually is working out because if they're not going to be you, able I can't disengage I mean I can jump I can I, I, you, I can I retreat definitely, yeah I would definitely turn around and get out of here oh, I'm holding my own I think I should no I don't think we should you think we should jump I jumping yep because our allies are you see what they're doing they're bombarding a planet they're not even yeah, yeah. Jump, jump. Great. There we go. Okay. I was like, holy crap, what's going on with your... What's going yeah, on with your... Still, what's going on? <laughs> Don't die. Okay. Yeah, you see how they... Right when they were going to jump with us, they decided to immediately turn around and go bombard this planet up here. All right. Well, let's and go over here. Let's go over here and get some repairs. Yeah. And I say that we... Uh, Let's see, or what are these guys doing? This fifty this fleet is on the move. I don't know where it's going. I don't either. I just told them to come join up with us, so They're still just bombarding that planet. I hope they join us. Yeah, it's like guys, really, we can we can we can get that back later. Come on. Yeah, because if we don't destroy this fifty nine K fleet, and the fleet's getting more powerful too. Oh, well, they just jumped into our system. Uh and these guys are still not budging. We should jump into their system. We should move to the end. Yep, run, run. All right. Yeah, we're gonna have to. What we're gonna have to do is run into uh, warp into Ural here, and then hope that the fifty nine k fleet follows us, and then just drag our AIs into our AI friends here into the war. Yeah, with us, because you see how they're just sitting up there bombarding that planet. They're not budging. Yeah, they're not budging. So I guess we're just they, what's funny is these guys can't catch us. That that is funny. Yeah, we're too because our because <laughs> our fleets are fast. They're not able to catch us. So that comes in Hopefully handy. We jump quick enough. Yeah, we're jumping. Our fleets are small. They should jump quick. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm out of there. Get Boom. Out. Of there. out. Yeah. Well, they're just about bombarding that planet now over there, anyways. But there's nothing we can do about it until we get our allies to join us, which they're still just bombarding this planet. Do you have troops that can take this planet so that they stop bombarding it? Yeah, I do. I can't believe that they're not just off doing something else. Or I did. Um, actually, yeah, they <laughs> just, I just got them. I just got them killed. They were on the planet that was being bombarded. Oh, you know what, though? That 59K fleet's on the move. I think it's coming this way. I think it's going to come this way. So hopefully it'll end up getting tangled into a war with all of us. That's my hope. That's really what I'm hoping for. So now we've got a pretty large pile of forces here. Um, if you want to build up some troops and take this planet... Yeah, I'm building Gene um, Warriors. Since I think that's going to be the only way that gets these guys to stop bombarding it. I'm building some in every system. Let's see, where'd that fleet go? Oh, they're all the way down there now. They're way away from us.
Okay, so what's going on here? That's a good question. I mean, now they're just... Yeah, that's a sec... They're just... They're not even... Are they even going to take that? Yeah, I think they are. If we can't get these guys to come with us, we can't win this. That's the problem. I know. We need them to come with us. I don't know what they're doing. They're just bombarding this planet. Is there any way to stop them from doing it? I mean, right now it's currently set to encourage allied fleets to follow. And the allied fleets will attempt to follow it, but they're not. So, so much for that working. I think they're just defaulting to this, we gotta take the planet back thing. Oh man. Whew. Yeah, we really need them to not sit there and bombard that planet all day long. Um, I can send armies down there to try to take it. And then I can just give it back to you. Just for the sake of getting them to stop doing what they're doing. Yeah, I just offered them white peace and they laughed. They were like, not that I can blame them. Oh, wait, hold on. Actually, I don't know if my armies can land on there and take it. It says if I land on it, it'll turn a non-hostile planet hostile. So I can't even help you take your planets back? It's kind of silly. And while we're doing this, we've got a 59k just running around rampant. Oh, here are my troops, though. Well, I'm going to try to... If I land armies on there, I don't want it to, like, make you my enemy. You know? We can surrender. If we end up going to war for me landing troops on there? No, no, no. We can surrender. We can give them, liberate the Commonwealth of Binus. Uh, and we, we can surrender. Which we might oh, want to do. To which units, though? To the whole... To everyone? The Commonwealth of Bienus. Yeah, they're they're war demands. They have two war demands. Neither one of them is that crazy. I suggest we surrender right now before we hit, lose the opportunity to do so. But it's okay. But we Here, surrender I'll to pause. everybody. Okay. Yeah, well, we surrender. Yeah, we surrender to their war goals. So you know, in this conflict, like if you go, I don't know if it'll show it to you or not, but if you click on the war progress thing, we're we're at negative thirteen. It should yeah. bring up the status, and then there should oh, be a okay. negotiate tab at the bottom. Does it let you? Does oh, it let okay. you see that? I see it. I see it now. Yeah. Okay, so you can see on Coming their side. Business. Yeah. See that seed planet, whatever Malgamaria, which is Stellinar, which I don't even know where the hell that's at. Then. And then the Commonwealth of Venus. Yeah. Neither one of this is ours, so I say we just say surrender, rebuild all of our stuff, and then we can reassess. Because clearly hmm. we can't win that fight. I mean, I think we can win it if we could get our allies to stop doing what they're doing. Actually, they're coming towards us right now, that 59k fleet. is heading in our direction. Okay. So maybe we try to see if that fleet hits all of us up here at the same time. If not, then we surrender. Okay. All right, then. Let me uh, close that window. You said they're coming towards us? They're down in the system right below us. They were a couple systems away, so they've come back around. Oh, you're talking about the enemy fleet, not our guys. Our guys yeah, are still yeah. just sitting here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the enemy fleet. And yeah, you should be able to land there. It shouldn't be a problem. Go ahead and land there. Yeah, it just says if I land armies on a non-hostile planet, it will turn them hostile against us. Yeah, but that's not. They're go ahead and land. Okay. Yeah, knock if I can not if I could take this planet and then give it back to you, it'll automatically come back to me at the end of the war. Will it? Okay, good. Mm -hmm. It should. I would think so.
I'm taking a pretty good beating, but I've got a lot of forces. And your garrison forces came out and helped too, which is nice. Oh, where are they going? Where the heck are they going? They're leaving? Yeah, I don't know where they're going though. Are they flying over down to fight that fleet? Uh. Oh, they're just flying around. I think they're ready to come with us now. They are. Okay. Looks like. Then well, let's let's jump let's jump to the Grugmoria system just to see if they'll follow us, and then we can jump to Shinnick. Okay. I gotta imagine they're gonna follow us now. The planet's not even under. They've got they got us way outgunned in that system though. I don't see them coming with us though. I don't understand why. The AI was being smart for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were. I don't know what the deal is. Just for a little bit. I we should surrender, dude. And rebuild. <laughs> yeah, if they're yeah, if they're not gonna follow us, I don't see any way we could possibly Yeah. We only and we only have to surrender one war goal to do it, so Oh wait, that 63k uh, fleet fleet K just engaged them. Oh, just as soon as you surrendered. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, they just engaged them. I was just about to jump into the system. That figures. Typical AI. Well, that was still the better, the better deal. Yeah, I think we would have won if we jumped into that system, but I because only because I didn't know that they were going to jump up there and engage them. Yeah, I lost just a ridiculous amount from that. Like, you know, like absolutely got, yeah, that was just really yeah. bad for me. Yeah, I wasn't expecting uh, them to be able to come up here and do that to us. Yeah, me neither. So, so that was kind of a bummer. Yes, yes, it oh, was. Did your planet come back over to you or are my forces still on it? No, it came back to me automatically. The, again, the problem is that it's okay. I'm taking my totally trashed. Like the planet oh, itself yeah. is. I'd imagine a lot of your planets are just after that one trashed. That's okay. I'll just rebuild. Well, well they their fleets were wasting time over here trying to mess us up. The bidden have spread so. I we're just gonna to we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to research and, and build up the best we can we can't we're not gonna be able to go to war like that yeah not with that many empires we could have beat the uh the united Volpoca stars by ourselves they were completely weak they were just nothing but with that many defensive packs there was just nothing we could do So, we gotta look for people who don't have defensive packs, I guess. Well, there aren't any. That's the whole thing. Oh, so I yeah. think. So I think what we're gonna have to do, and the main reason we did this, folks, too, is one to see if we could do it, and uh, obviously we want it to be interesting. So you know, fighting is more interesting than us building. But I think for a little while here, we're gonna have to build. That's just how it's gonna be, and yeah. that's that's part of it. So. Just, just to give you a heads up, and we might do a few time jumps. Um, we'll just have to see. Yeah, and we'll have to keep building up and just see where that takes us. Yeah, we might get an interesting opportunity too, as the uh, the Felinus uh, Redacticus Confederacy and the Inari Empire, as they start to kind of fold in from the Unbidden here. I think we'll be able to declare war again. It was really just the uh, Felinus Redacticus that messed with us. They were the only ones that came up here and actually caused a headache. They're going to lose that war with the Unbiden, and when they do, that's, I think, when we can focus on attacking the United Vulpecula uh, Stars again. Because their other allies were a joke. Yeah. Yeah. Our Federation fleet alone was just crushing them, so. And I'm going we'll to... I, I, I'm not going to rely on this... 
uh, or we can't actually because they have side jump drives. We can't rely on our you know our whole border strategy. Exactly. We're actually going to have to put in defenses. And if any one of those systems had had a couple of fortresses in, just long enough to hold them in a you know a, a gravity well, right? If if we had something that was interdicting them, we could have jumped in together. Exactly. And so it would have made a big difference. So yeah, you know, okay, lesson learned. We we got it, game. <laughs> we got it. We got to change it up a bit here. But yep, with the Unbidden there pushing into their territory, I can only imagine that their fleet power is going to dwindle over time, just like the Inari Empire, who are pretty much trash at this point. I mean, their fleet power is inferior compared to me. I, you know, they're done for. And the uh, the Felinus here, they're going to have the same exact issue. I swear, give it like 10 years and there's going to be nothing left of them. There was, al there was almost no there was almost nothing left of me, man. Yeah. <laughs> like what the hell? No, not right now. No, not like this. We're peaceful. We have no weapons. Not like this. Okay, let's see. And you going back up here. I think it's funny. My planet's got trash, and yet my fleet is mostly intact. Like, I only lost, like, 2k of my fleet. Oh, okay, well... So, I guess that's okay. Well, that's nice, though. Yeah, that's nice that you don't have to, like, go through the process, the headache of having to rebuild that again. Do you need any credits or anything? I got actually got a lot of energy credits right now. Oh, did we... F yeah, we can send energy credits, right? We've already... I also have separate destroyers. Oh, I'm... I, my economy's f fine. The irony is oh, that... Wait. Uh, yeah, my economy's fine. It trashed some of my structures and whatnot, but yeah, my, yeah, my economy's just fine. Good, fantastic. I'm just going to have to, like I said, I'll just have to do a whole lot of rebuilding. I'll put it back on fast. Certainly don't need it on normal speed for what oh, we're doing now. Yeah. I'm looking now to see if there's a place I can... Oh, there we go. They are... Oh, what? What? Your Mothi consciousness wants to invite the United Vepecula Stars into the Federation? I'm going to pause the game for a second so we can <laughs> discuss the ridiculousness that is this invitation. I say we do it. I think we should. Wow, we just got to work with them and they love us. But if we if we do this, um, then that means all those people that they had packs with is going to become irrelevant because exactly. alliance, alliance, even if you had separate agreements, they could vote no against somebody we want to take an aggressive action against. But chances are they won't because generally speaking, the AI votes with either. the Federation. Yeah, Plus, I, I'm saying yes. Too, yeah, a good thing, too, is that opens the door now for us to attack people on the side of them. And there's a lot of really weak nations over there. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, let's vote yes, let's do it. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe it. Our Federation's actually pretty powerful. Now, I would go so far as to say that, other than the Foxtail Federation down here, I would say that we're probably the most powerful Federation in the game. That's actually, funny that they got him to do it. We were rivaled I, to them, too. Yeah, I don't know what happened. But I'm glad that it happened like this, I guess. I'm actually still rivaled to them. <laughs> Are you really? I am. I, yeah, I, I, think, I think I am too. Hey, let's pause it a second. I ended the rivalry and, and my opinion of them went up by 100 points. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to end rivalry. Opinion of me. Yeah, I'm plus 198 with them now. So, yeah. okay. All right. Well, I, is, a lot of it's from the mutual threat, which that actually makes me happy then. So it's actually very possible to really... Uh, focus on uniting the empire or uh, the game under a common threat that makes me happy yeah 
I'm actually... Even when we, we just were at war with them not less than a year ago, and now we're all in the same federation and best friends. I just submitted a 30-year research agreement with them. Wow. This is great. So let's see. So in terms of... Yeah, in terms of a lot... Uh, yeah, we have the most powerful... We have the most powerful federation now. That's good. Really? Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah, I think we do. Once we're all built back up, obviously. Yeah, so I think we'll go ahead and build back up and then maybe we'll start eyeballing some of these uh, empires on the other side of them. Yeah, the sort of outlying people. Let's see. Is there anyone else? Oh, let's see. Can we invite to Federation? What is the problem here? Distance is part of the problem. That's why we can't get the floor foundation because they're so far away. Oh, are they? Mm-hmm. And Man, everyone, yeah. everyone will vote yes to include them. Oh, they can't really. They're that far away. Yeah. If we had any systems closer to them, we could get them to join too. Huh. I guess we'll have to attack some people around them. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess so. Yeah. Who's the Federation president? Kepler combine. I was just curious how close we are now to the Federation victory, too. Oh, yeah, the good question. Let's yeah, uh, say we got a situation be close. log. Um, well, I'm not the president, so I don't know. I'm not either, so. But I don't we'll know why out. you have to be the president. To that seems so odd. And then on top of that, so then we have a rotating presidency. Does the person who's the president technically win the game if they have the Federation under their control when the victory conditions are met? No, 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 no. The 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 Federation, the federation. yeah, the whole Federation okay. wins, yeah. Good. That would have been super gamey. Yeah, that wouldn't have been. That would be kind of lamo if it worked that way. But that's a good question, uh, but yeah, it it doesn't it doesn't work um, that way. Um, Ben's still over there expanding. They've gobbled up pretty much all the small empires around them. The Inari are pretty much done for, and they were one of the most powerful empires in the game at one point. It's amazing. And Sildur Enforcer's just hanging out. Governor died at the age of 113. This is kind of funny that one where I was like, oh, I've got way too much food or whatever. I changed out some of the tiles yeah. and then and then my leader changed that was giving a food bonus. And then all of a sudden I was having problems again with food on it. And it's like. Okay, I was 20 over, and then all of a sudden I was 7 under. Like, oh, okay, game. <laughs> That's how Quit messing with me, please. I'd appreciate it if you'd stop doing that. Here's to hoping my fleet upgrades and doesn't... Oh, no, there it goes. 102%, 103%. I don't know what to do about that. I'm about to disband this whole fleet. No, just let it run. Just let it run. Eventually, what'll happen is it'll get to like 200% and the couple of them that are screwing it up will get split off and the rest of them will get upgraded. Oh, really? At least that's what happened for me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll leave it running and see how it goes then. All right. Well, we're at 25 minutes. Oh, okay. All right. Well, folks, um, we will come back in the next one. We're going to keep building up. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, he's about. I'm Mal, and we will see you later.